coming. Now, oh. you want to do the rankings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So give me, um, give me, give me your uh, your top twenty five here, Tony. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, let's get into it. Like I agree with you about Oklahoma. I put Oklahoma too, right behind Bama. Whew. So you know what? I agree with you. Um, or maybe I put Georgia too. Yeah, Bama, Georgia, Oklahoma, one, two, three. I guess you got to put Clemson fourth because you can't start the season with the chance not the playoffs, right? Yeah. Um, and then, then yeah, Ohio State next. Ohio State fifth. Um, and then this is where we start to get into, you know, someone's going to be stretched up here. Like I would have I would have picked something like Iowa. Yeah, something, baby. You know, like that's what I would pick, but that's not gonna be popular. Like I strongly doubt Iowa will open sixth in the rankings. Um and no, then, they're they're high up. They're high up on my rankings too. The question about Iowa, I think they lost like a uh, uh, couple stud uh, defensive players, like their leading tackler um, and their sack leader, went, all went to the NFL. Um, so that's that's the only sort of question for Iowa. But that I think that's going to be the team that comes out of the West this year. So I'm I'm going to be all on the Hawkeyes too. Yeah. I would, yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, I would imagine that I would imagine that Florida would get ranked in the top ten, uh, at least the start of the season. But I guess yeah. it's not a beauty contest. I'm supposed to tell you what I who I think the top ten teams are. Right? Okay. Yeah. So, um, oh yeah, penis is coming back. He's got to be in the <laughs> top ten. Um, freaking, you know what? I'm gonna throw Notre Dame in there because mm. I mean. They're always good. Why can't they be eight? Uh, let's see. I need two more for a top ten. I ah. can't possibly reach for USC. That would be madness. Not only is... Wisconsin, right? Wisconsin has to be better than USC. Yeah. Who else has to be better? Uh, honestly, I bet I would take USC over North Carolina. But I bet you North Carolina is going to be in the top ten. Tony. You know what I'm going to be all about week one, and I, I can't wait. This is already a, a, um, a game of the year line. Uh, North Carolina at Virginia Tech. Mm-hmm. Yeah, them Hokies. Them Hokies are going to be good. Yeah, I mean, North Carolina loses like 74% of the yards gained going to the NFL. Like, it, North Carolina, yeah, sure. They're a slightly better program than they used to be, but that's that's a lot. And I'm going to go into Blacksburg. Virginia Tech is going to win that game outright. Fuck, fuck North Carolina. Anyway. Yeah, that's going to be a big game for them. Yeah, that's going to be huge, and they're definitely going to come out there. They're going to come out there firing. Um, I mean, I didn't really think about all 25. I okay. Of only, you know, I didn't think that far ahead, but did you have any teams that I left out of 10? Um... Yes, I did. I did. Let's see here. So in my top 10, I have Utah. So I the, the way that I structured this was doing the top 25 at the end of the year. So this what will be the final top 25. So I okay. have you. Yep. Yeah. So Utah is ranked number seven here uh, for me. And then I have LSU um, at at 10. I wouldn't. LSU doesn't even rate for me, but I'm sure they will be in the top 20, right? Um, Towards I, the end or, of the year, yeah. Oh, no, I mean, just oh yeah, exactly. Or to start the season, honestly. But um, like, and it's going to be criminal because they're going to be ranked ahead of the Chanticleers. <sighs> that that is potentially criminal. Okay, so I found it a C, like a CBS like way too early top 25 and they are literally ranked right above coastal um uh, 15 to 16 you see yeah coastal should be like number 12 <laughs> coastal they've done enough they they won games they did things um so i'm going i have one final question here for you tony or it's not one question but also, a line, also a line we got to count Ole miss in the top 22 Right. Oh, we were yeah. Liking, we were liking Kiffin. Yeah. I got I got them in the top twenty-five. Um, so 
last year, these teams were not in the preseason top 25. Northwestern, BYU, Coastal, mm-hmm. Louisiana Lafayette, Liberty, Miami, Ball State, San Jose State, and Buffalo. Can you give me three teams that are currently not in the top 25? Uh, you can basically guess who they are, um, but I can confirm that. Who are not in, currently in the top 25 that will be in the final top 25? Give me three teams you think will be there. Uh, all right. Ne- never count out Texas Christian. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got to assume that they ranked USC because that would be one of my answers if they did it. They did. In this in this CBS way too early uh, top line. Yeah. Yes. No, of course. No, I mean, it's a, yeah, because everyone's a fan of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're a cool school. Okay. Uh, more top t- what about them Sun Devils? They rank them Sun Devils? Uh, no. Yeah, I mean, because you know, I I never want to I, I never wanted to believe that someone sucks. Like I would believe that it just took him a little while to build something in Tempe. Give me, give me one more. Ooh, is Louis? I'm gonna give you Louisiana Lafayette one more time. Give me them Cajuns. Um. They are ranked in the top. Oh, they're ranked. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. shockingly, shockingly. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's going to work out for Liberty this season necessarily. They are also in the top twenty-five as well. They way too much respect. Ranked. <laughs> way, way too much respect for for what happened in the group of five last year. So, um, since he is the highest group of five team ranked at eleven. And then, uh, or I'm off one on this Excel sheet. So 10 is Cincy, uh, Coastal 16, Liberty is 18, Louisiana Lafayette is 20. Okay. So give me one more team. And, and if you can't, if you give up, then, then that's fine. No, no, I'm not going to let go of the rope that easily because, let's see, I've always got my old stand by the Cardinal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like I'm, I'm not as optimistic about them necessarily right now, but mm-hmm. I mean, they, they typically do finish ranked. Like David Shaw typically puts a good team together. Okay. Like, so they're not a bad guess. Okay. Um, on, on my end, I think UCF will end up being ranked again this year um, with the Gus Bus coming to town. Um. I think UCF will be ranked. Obviously, Utah, um, UCLA, I think will end up being ranked. I also think Georgia State is going to be the team that comes out of uh, the Sun Belt Conference to surprise people, um, as opposed to Coastal or, or Liberty or, or, or Louisiana last year. And like we know there's going to be some, uh, probably not San Jose State will win the Mountain West again. So I- I'm guessing it's going to be like a, a Wyoming this year. Um, so that's those are oh and Washington as well I think will be um, a top twenty five team. Huskies gonna be a tough team. I'll give you that. Huskies mm-hmm. will be a tough team. Um, yeah, yeah. But uh, I I don't know about the Mountain West because I don't you know if they would let Hawaii open their school or something, maybe maybe Hawaii can make a run. Wait, what do you mean Hawaii open their school? Their is their school closed? Yeah, man. They're like, they shut down that whole fucking island. Oh, still? Oh, that's a good point. Maybe they let them loose recently. Um, is everything open in Vegas? What's the oh, point? you betcha. Oh, you oh. betcha. God, I, I love mean, America. Vegas doesn't care because we need to get people out here breathing on each other ASAP. Truck, yeah. Yeah, so let's, yeah, let's just absolutely do that. Now I gotta. I want to say this. I was thinking mm. about how we handicap games, and the only things I always think about are the team's recent form and the weather forecast. Mm-hmm. Everything, you know, sort of begins and ends with those things. Like, is it going to be a mud fest? Is this team psychologically broken, or are they ready for a bounce back? You know what I mean. 
Yeah, I think this year we need to we need to try our best to um, assess what their what twenty twenty was like for them because the betting market, even with limited more even um, uh, more limited uh, information than, than normal, is you know all those power ratings um, or even like a general like assessments of those teams are based off of last year's data. And so I think we need to look at teams like that had a, a significant down year or teams that performed higher than expectation that both that those teams are going to most likely um, move back to the mean. So I think that's sort of what we should be trying our best to determine like, OK, was this was this a fluky season or not so fluky season? Um, and since so many teams are going to return a lot of starters, not really weight that so much only in the instance when they don't return a lot of starters. So like BYU, Notre Dame, and I think Northwestern are all only have about 30, 40% returning production, which is really bad for this class, um, given the extra year of eligibility. So I think we should um, try our best, except for like the bottom rung of returning production, try to ignore returning production as much as possible and, and dissect, especially in, the first weeks of betting dissect to as much to, 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 in, in as much detail as possible. If that team was good because of our, this funky year last year and, or got lucky or was bad because of this funky year and got unlucky. So like, for example, ball state in 2019 uh, ball state, I think, if they had scored like a touchdown would have won three or four more games in 2019 In 2020, they won all of their one possession games. So like, that's, I think a perfect team like ball state's going to be one of the few Mac teams that people care about. Um, obviously they open up with a brutal non-conference schedule, but I think that that's a type of team that we should be fading uh, from the get go. And so like teams like Penn state, um, we should be backing uh, UCLA uh, teams that had like just kind of fluky things happen to them. Um, those are the type of things that teams that we should be uh, prioritizing, I think. Um, so that, that's that's like, my I mean, assessment. I like your style. I mean, I typically like that logic. I mean, I like that logic in both the NFL and college. I mean, I like it more in the NFL because there's more parity. Like, but I mean, yeah, there's no reason to think the Cardinals of Ball State, right, have a leg up on the rest of the Mac, right? No, of course not. And those Mac yeah. games anywhere, they're just wacky, right? Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's absolutely fluky, uh, generally speaking. So um, I think those are, those are the types of teams that we should be um, focusing on. Uh, teams trying to dissect if, if, some, if last season was anomalous, either in, in the negative or, or the positive for them last year. Um, and then maybe try to see how much consistency, um, maybe not returning production, but consistency in terms of coaches, um, OCDC, and then maybe uh, quarterback as, as well. Um, we will get into this when we do conference by conference preview. I think the two most interesting conferences this year will be the Pac-12 will be number two, the second most interesting I think Conference USA is going to be single-handedly the most interesting conference. Um, anyway, we'll get into that for at another That's, time. That is one. That is one hot take right there. Right. I got hot takes. I got to hot takes. Notre Dame is not going to be ranked. UNC at the end of the year is not going to be ranked. Vatek is going to win that game um, uh, in Week One versus UNC, uh, and Conference USA will be the most interesting conference. Um, in FBS football next year. Those are my takes. You know, I you know we had some good success with Doc Holiday's team last year. I mean, that thunder and hurry was all right to us uh, until until they somehow mysteriously collapsed towards the end. Well, it was just that bowl game, right? Like they did good getting there. Um, no, I mean they lost to that 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 Rice game. We bet on Rice when they were like a twenty-two point underdog. Remember? Oh shit! They did lose outright in that game. That's right. <laughs> and they, oh yeah, they really it got torrid. It got torrid at the end for them. But uh, well, okay, we'll see Tony. how it goes with them. We'll see what goes. I think. I think we've given the people.